Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to take a look at the new full self-driving update 12.5. It's been a long time since I've done one of these FSD drives because, you know, it was getting incrementally better but not anything earth shattering. This is worthy of a new video. So I'm gonna do for the first time a full 40 minute drive. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you watch 40 minutes of driving, but a full 40 minute intervention free drive. So that means that I did not have to take over the entire drive from my house in Atlanta all the way through the downtown traffic to my office parking lot where I then, of course, manually parked. But other than that, it did the whole drive hands-free, which is new. So you just saw me turn the volume down of my music in the car, but that was about it. So now, what do I mean by intervention free? It means I didn't have to take over. I didn't have to grab the wheel and turn and take over, or I didn't have to hit the brake and disengage full self-driving. So full self-driving stayed engaged the entire drive. So here it is making a left, and then it's gonna make a right out of my subdivision. That's why I have the map covered for privacy sake. And then once we get on the road, uh, the map, the, you'll see the screen, you'll see everything that's going on. And um, I'll play music on the parts I sped up where it's just a straightaway. There's nothing happening. There's nothing going on so that we can get through this in like five to seven minutes instead of 41. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. So we get up to this first turn and then we're going to make this. We're going to let it make this turn. And then we get on the main road that gets to the highway and then takes us downtown. All right, nice turn. Here we go. This is not an intervention, but it did make me touch the wheel because I wear transition lenses. It thought they were sunglasses. So I got confused and I had to touch the wheel. I deal with this later in the video by just simply taking my glasses off. Okay, I almost took over here. I grabbed the wheel because I didn't know what that gray car was gonna do, but I didn't turn it. I didn't hit the brake. So I didn't do an intervention. I didn't disengage. So full self-driving is still going. We made it downtown. Now it's making this turn and it's gonna do something that it always does in this spot. It gets over in the left lane because up, up further, it is gonna make a left-hand turn. However, before we get to my left-hand turn, there's a turn that it needs to, it, there's a turn that it's not gonna wanna make. Cause, so this turns into a left turn lane. So I hit the, um, the 
the turn signal so that once it starts moving again, as you can see, it starts changing lanes to get into this lane that it should be in because it can't stay in that left lane without making a turn before my turn. So that's okay. I, I just hit the turn signal and it got in the right lane. I didn't disengage or do anything else. And now that's the turn we didn't want to make that we're passing now. And now we're going to keep straight. Now what's interesting is there's a pedestrian crossing that we're coming up to and I'm not doing anything. Like it knows that there are pedestrians. There's no light here. There's no, no, nothing to normally stop a car other than you see people. So it sees the people crossing in front of me and it comes to a complete stop way for, far back at the line. And even though that other Tesla that's passing me up can't wait and it just pulls on. So it did a very nice job there stopping where it was supposed to on its own, letting the pedestrians go. Once they cleared, then it took off. Now we're going to make the final left turn. We're coming up to that and I'll go ahead and let that speed up and then we'll go from there. All right, we're coming to the end of my 41 minute commute. Now I hit the right turn signal again to get into the right lane because we're once we pass this light, we'll be, or the second light here, we'll be at the end of the drive. There is a uh, parking structure that it doesn't know anything about. It's just gonna get to the end of the drive and stop and I would need to take over anyway. So I, I'm gonna hit the accelerator one time, just tap the pedal here to let it know that it can keep going. It doesn't have to wait for anything. And again, I didn't have to disengage. I don't call that a disengagement. I call that a gentle nudge. So now that it's moving forward, uh, it will go past this one light. I will take over because it doesn't know that I want to turn right into the parking structure and go down and park. Now, once I go down and park, that's pretty much the end of the drive. You saw me do a 40 minute drive from home to work and I didn't have to take over. I didn't have to touch the wheel other than the times it thought I was wearing sunglasses. And other than that, it was pretty much hands-free the entire way. So I get to park in this nice EV charger here. I could have auto parked there, but I wanted it to be more to the right because uh, that's a tight spot. So I, I manually parked. But that's it, folks. Uh, FSD 12.5 is fire. I love it.